So in this video, we're going to be preparing a surgical site using aseptic techniques. So I have my uh, dog here for over hysterectomy for spay. And um, first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to identify the landmarks. So we're going to be shaving from her xiphoid process down to her pubis and then laterally on the edges to the ribs. And we're just going to remove all that hair and then we're going to do a first dirty scrub here in the prep area. And then after I'm done with that, I'm going to be moving her into the OR area to do the um, final scrub. So first thing I'm going to get are my clipper blades here with a 40 blade on it. And um, we're just going to go ahead and start shaving. With the 40 blade, it gives us a nice clean shade close to the skin. And I want to make sure that my lines are nice and straight and clean so it looks well to the owner. Going in the direction of the hair growth and then to get all the other little hairs I'm just going to Okay, so now that I've got that, I'm going to pick up kind of any hairs that I can grab that are loose. I'm just going to throw those away. You get most of the chunks of hair here. And then now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get my vacuum and just vacuum up any other small loose hairs that might be on her just because we want, don't want to take those into the OR with us. I'm going to go ahead and put my um, exam gloves on. And then I do have my scrubbing solution and my rinsing solution right here. So I have a 2% uh, chlorhexidine gluconate. It's going to be our scrub. And then for our rinsing agent, we're going to use 70% isopropyl alcohol. And for our initial dirty scrub, we're just going to uh, do a minimum of three times in a target pattern, with, starting with the scrub, following the rinse. And uh, it's a minimum of three times or until they come up clean. And then after we finish this, we're going to move her into the OR and do our final scrub. So I'm going to go ahead and start at the incision and just move outwards in a target pattern. As soon as I touch hair, I'm going to throw that away and just do the same with my alcohol. Making sure that I don't cross back over into the incision site area. I'm just 
just going to take a look at my sponges. I'm just going to go ahead and do one more. Okay, so now that I've finished that, I'm going to go ahead and move her into the OR to do her final scrub. So now that we've done our dirty prep, we're going to go ahead and do our final prep. So I have my mask and my cap on still, and I've changed my exam gloves just to make sure they're clean. And in this bowl, I have my 2% chlorhexane gluconate scrub solution. And then in this bowl, I have my 70% alcohol isopropyl, al uh, iso isopropyl alcohol that's following by a rinse. So I'm going to scrub and I'm going to rinse. We're going to do a minimum of three times or until it comes up clean. And so again, we're going to do a target pattern starting at where the incision line would be and work our way out. And once we touch hair, we're going to discard. So I'll go ahead and start. Get my chlorhexidine and just go out and stop. Discard that one. Okay, so now she is ready for surgery.